Hi, my name is Kimberly Pena and I'm a junior in Jose Marley STEM Academy and this is one of my dogs named Mac. And for today I'm going to be reading Cat and Mouse. One summer day, a young mouse set out looking for adventure. Be very careful, said his mother. It's a dangerous world for mice. Watch out for traps and watch out for the sharp claws of the cat and above all, don't be too sure of anything. As the mouse ran in and out of the stems of the sunflowers, a cat called him in a sweet voice. Hello there, mouse. The mouse stopped hearing his name called and looked out nervously. Come on out, mouse, and talk to me, the cat said. I'm rather lonely and I love a bite of company. But aren't you a cat, asked the young and innocent mouse. A cat? Perish the thought, cried the cat. I am none other than Santa Claus. Look at my white whiskers and white eyebrows if you don't believe me. Are you absolutely sure you're Santa Claus, he asked, because there was still something about the cat that made him very suspicious. Of course I am, said the cat. Look, here are my claws to prove it. That's why I'm called Santa Claus. Come on now. I have presents and things for you, just down the path. The mouse had heard that Santa Claus had white whiskers and white eyebrows, and also that he gave people presents. As the mouse came out from among the sunflower stems, the cat pounded on him, catching him slightly away. You should never believe everything you hear. The cat said, because now I'm going to eat you up. You said we'd talk together, cried the terrified mouse, realizing he had been tricked. Well, we'll talk a bit first if you like, said the cat, and then I'll eat you up afterward. I have plenty of time, and I'm not terribly hungry. I just like the thought of catching a mouse. The mouse stopped very quickly. What makes you sure sure I'm a mouse, he asked. You're not very clever for a cat. Well, you are a mouse, said the cat. The mouse made himself laugh very loud. He didn't feel much like laughing. He just made himself laugh through sheer willpower. I'm not a mouse, he said when he had finished laughing. I'm a dog. It was the cat's turn to laugh, but it was a very surprised laugh. He had never caught a mouse like this one before. I know a mouse when I see one. No, I'm definitely a dog, declared the mouse, still laughing. And when I get my breath back, I'm going to bark at you and chase you up a tree. Inside his mouse mind, he was telling himself, I'm not a mouse, I'm a dog. I'm not a mouse, I'm a dog. He made himself think dog thoughts. Just imagine you thinking that I'm a mouse, he cried. Well, you look quite like a mouse, the cat said, sounding rather less sure of himself. The mouse was laughing a lot more than a dog, than the cat had thought at first. Let me hear you bark, the cat commanded. Wait a moment. In the mouse mind, he was telling himself, think dog, bark dog, be dog. Well, are you ready? Yes, said the cat. Then stand back a bit because I don't want to defend you with my barking. The mouse said, and the cat actually did stand back a bit, though he kept one paw firmly on the mouse's tail. The mouse barked as well as he could, but it came out very like a mouse's squeak. There, said the cat triumphantly, and I'm going to eat you straight away because I can see you're a very tricky mouse. The mouse did not lose his head, even though he thought the cat might take it off with a single bite. You really do have mice on the brain. It'll serve you right when I chase you up a tree. Think dog be dog, he said under his whiskers. He made himself laugh in an easygoing fashion. As he spoke, a strange thing happened to the mouse. By now, he believed he was actually a dog. The cat, which had looked so terrible a moment ago, began to look small and silly, cowardly too. He felt dogness swell up inside him. He thought he could remember burning bones, fighting other dogs, and of course, chasing many, many cats. He 
felt a bark swelling in his throat. He barked again. My goodness, the cat dog. The cat thought, he really is a dog. And here I am with my paws on his tail. The cat looked nervous and the mouse felt very strong. He opened his mouth and barked for the third time. This time, there was no doubt about it. It was a very wonderful bark. The cat took his paw off the mouse's tail and ran for the trees with the mouse chasing him, barking furiously. The cat shot up the tree like a furry rocket and hid among the leaves. Phew! That was a narrow escape, thought the cat covering at the top of the tree. Well, that was a narrow escape, thought the mouse at the bottom of the tree. I'm off home to mother. As he reached the mouse hole, he saw his mother nervously collecting sunflower seeds outside. Mother, called the mouse. Here I am, home again. Ah, a dog screamed his mother and popped down into the household. The mouse lay outside in the sun with his paw stretched in front of him and his tongue hanging out. Think mouse, he panted. Think mouse. So he thought mouse, and as he thought mouse, the dogness died away. What am I doing sitting out here in broad daylight with my tongue hanging out, he squeaked to himself. I must be mad. The cat could come back at any moment. Then he went into his mouse hold where his mother met him with great delight. I'm glad you're back, she said. It's dangerous out there. A big dog ran at me barking. A cat caught me, the mouse said, but I escaped. Escaped? Oh, my son, how did you manage that? Cleverness, said the mouse modestly. Cleverness and courage. I chased the cat up the tree. Exaggerating again, thought his mother fondly. Then the mouse and his mother had a delicious dinner of sunflower seeds. As for the cat, he stayed up in the tree all day for fear of the savage dog that was waiting somewhere below in the summer in the summer garden. Thank you for watching. Go make sure to watch our other videos.